Oh my goodness me, fellas! Holy flippin' moly, you've done it! You've clicked on the video that may literally outdo every single upload that we've uploaded this week. And that's saying something. So guys, if you don't know, on the channel we always unbox like all sorts of custom cards. If like someone's made a whole heap of custom Pokemon cards, send them into the channel because I love looking at them. It's a new take on something that's been around for ages that's not made by the Pokemon company and sometimes you get some insane results. And today, this bad boy right here rocked up my P.O. box and then I saw the return address was from none other than my boy Gordon, aka Gold Star CCG. This man has sent us some of the craziest Pokemon custom products and cards I've ever seen ever but he's always sent it in like a small envelope because it's been like custom cards, you don't need a big box. And today, he has sent us an entire box. I have no idea what's inside. I always tell these people, don't tell me what's inside. I want to unbox it on the video. I want to like share the moment with you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's open up this box right here. I'm kind of worried, but at the same time, I've never been so excited my entire life. Let's do it. Alrighty, Gordon. Let's do it. Let's open up the uh, big giant mystery box. I'm loving this week. This week's been like mystery box on mystery box. Oh, jeez. There's a lot in here. There's literally a lot in here. Alrighty. First off the bat, this is, dude, this is like Gordon's signature thing. It's transforming like holographic images. Let me get a close up of this bad boy and uh, show you just like what Gordon's about. So here to the regular eye, it appears it's just a, you know, Lucario and Blaziken battling, you know, nothing too crazy. But it's only when you adjust it only slightly, you've got a Mega Lucario versus a Mega Blaziken. Back to normal, Mega Form. Back to normal, Mega Form. Look how cool that is. It's just the most awesome thing ever. Anyway, so we've got something on the top right here that says open first. It's a clean yellow envelope, looks a bit mysterious, but it's got some like solid weight to it. So uh, let's open up the yellow envelope first. What could possibly be inside of this uh, envelope right here? Oh, it's got like uh, silver and gold, I think. So no! These are the full metal cards he was talking about. Oh, sugar. Yo, these are full metal Pokemon cards. Are you kidding me? Oh, gee whiz! No way! Charizard, Gyarados, Lugia. Oh! Okay, let me let me get you guys a close up right now. This is this is literally metal and silver. Holy Aunt Jemima! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you probably the craziest Pokemon custom cards I've ever seen in my entire life. Never has anyone sent me a custom card printed or like this would have to be grinded into a sheet of metal to create a full metal gold dusted Pokemon card and it's not just one he's done a whole bunch so the very first one I've taken out the top loader it is a full art energy Arcanine fire type oh my goodness how I made like literally it's full metal hear this like, this is hardcore! Oh my, I cannot wait to put this in the binder. It's gonna have its own section in a custom card binder. Like, these are better than full arts. It's even better than, like, a cigarette, honestly. They should start doing these in packs, although you wouldn't be able to weigh them because you'd be able to feel how heavy it is. That is just incredible! I love the design. Arcanine looks beautiful as well. As we swing it around, the back is just as good. We've got the Pokeball logo, the Pokeball logos as well. Oh my goodness! So yeah, that's the first one right there. It's Arcanine. It looks beautiful. What do you guys think? It's supposed to be like a different take on an energy card, but let's keep it going. I feel like I should wear gloves or something. You know when like jewelers handle jewels and they've got those white gloves on? Oh, this is a Charizard fire type energy in pure black. Dude. Honestly, like the camera doesn't do it justice at all. If you were here in person, you'd probably be passed out on the floor and I'd be giving you CPR right now because it's insane. All of the sparkles around here, hopefully it's doing some sort of justice right now. Oh, it is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I love the black. It makes the gold really stand out and pop and all this is just embossed stuff. Oh, I'm going to treasure all of these. I'm so sorry if all I do this video is just be like, oh, wow. But that's just how I feel. You can hear the metal clinking. I just love that. It's just like I haven't ever in my entire life seen something like this. In all six, five years of Pokemon card collecting, um, since I started again, 
never seen custom full metal Pokemon cards. This time it's a Mega Gyarados Water Type Full Art Energy. Gold Star has knocked this out the park. Dude, I just love that you can like hold it like that and it's a full sheet of like metal that's a Pokemon card. Love that rough grainy sort of texture on the back as well. How good do the back of the cards look? Almost as good as the front. I'm just easily impressed, maybe. I don't know. Very keen to see what you guys think. Next one right here is a Lugia. It's even got a blue tint, doesn't it? That's not, that's not literally just me. That's actually got a blue tint. Yep. Oh! Blue tint, full art silver energy right there. Oh, it looks so good. Even the face and design of Lugia, all the sparkles around it. And then you swing it around, should have the regular back. Look at that. I can understand how fragile these are. Being like a thin metal sheet, if you got something that went that way or that way into the card, it would dent pretty easy. So you'd have to take good care of these. I will though. I'm literally, as soon as this video is over, we're putting them back in the sheet, back in a uh, top loader, back in the binder. Oh, this may be my new favorite actually. Requaza Energy. Let's get you out. Oh, it's gold, isn't it? Yep, that's pure gold, and it's embossed. Look at that. <gasps> it literally feels amazing. Yo! They get more detailed as you go along. They literally get more detailed as you go along. I'm legit shaking. Tell me which one is your favorite out of all the custom cards. Pure black and golden metal. This looks insane. All right. Put you at the back, but now it's time for the big boys. The grand prize, the absolute thing I think everyone would have clicked on this video for. The Full Metal Base Set Shurizard reprint card. I love that what they've done here. It's a full golden sheet of metal, right? Then they've gone, you know what? This is iconic artwork. So let's make it all gold around here, but the actual artwork in flame is all colored in the original colors of the card. I mean, hey, we saw the card this week, which is nuts, but... Okay, don't damage it. I want to keep this forever. Oh! Pure golden, full art metal, base set Charizard. Let's turn it around. It's literally beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it to pieces. What do you guys think? Are you a fan or what? It's got all the original details the original base set has, doesn't it? Maybe I can find that original base set that we've got uh, earlier this week. Let me find it. All right, so I managed to get the original base set that we opened this week, and I've got this one, so you can compare the two. There you go, fellas. How good... It's like an HD version of this one. This one isn't a sleeve. I don't really want to take it out, but... Yeah, that looks just nuts. It's got all the exact same details on it, eh? I love that. Okay, put you to the side. Put you at the back, we can come back to that. Fire spin with 100. Put you to the side there. All right, what do we got here? Oh my, it's a sleeping Snorlax. It kind of reminds me of the Snorlax in the Detective Pikachu movie that's sleeping at the intersection. Look at that, I love that there's color on the back of a gold metal sheet. That's a really nice touch. It's embossed as well, it looks fantastic. All right, so another one, Snorlax right there. You can add that to your collection if you want. And last but not least is the Duo Energy, Lugia and OO. Full Art Silver card. Let's get you out. Holy, I love it. That looks amazing. Yo, I don't even know which one I love more. I think they both look beautiful. And then the back of the card as well. Stock standard full metal silver. Oh, it's beautiful. Which custom card was your favorite? I think everyone's probably gonna have the same one as me. These are heavy though, oh my goodness. It's the base set Charizard golden reprint. That looks insane. Oh, 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 gee whiz. I literally have no words. That was insane. How cool was that? I love products like that. I literally treasure them because I know they're one of a kind and are uh, the... Oh, gosh. They're not mass produced. Like, they're all handmade. What else is extent though? Like, I've got three boxes that have eBay tape. Oh, what the? That's wood. You hear that? That's like pure wood. Yeah, that's like really strange. The only thing that was in there with those shade metal cards, the transforming image, but then there's also these like wooden boxes that are extremely bubble wrapped and like really well packaged. So let's open up a wooden box. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it smells like just literally pure wood. No! Can you guys see this? Can you see what's in like graved in the top of the box right here? It's a dressed up 
Charmander who's cosplaying as a Charizard. And look at this, it's got like a little latch on the side of the box. So let's open up all, open up the latch and it looks like a bunch of uh, styrofoam. Oh, they're figures! Handmade, hand painted Pokemon figures. One of a kind, these literally don't exist anywhere else. Oh, yo, you guys know I love my handmade products, but seriously, this is on another, oh gosh. Okay, the box is already fantastic, so you got somewhere to put it, so it doesn't break. How do you even make custom figures? Yo, is that not the cutest, best hand-painted, most amazing Pokemon product you've ever seen? I'm, this is literally going on my ending desk. Like, I want to look at this every single day. Okay, put that wooden box to the side and let's get into the next one. I wonder what it could be. I love that there's a sketched outline on the box as well. Like, it's meant to be in that box. Alrighty, so box number two right here. Let's get everything off. I'm trying so hard not to damage the box because I love the box just as much as this. But it's... Oh! I think it's Squirtle. I think it's Squirtle dressed up as a Blastoise. Oh, definitely, it's definitely a Squirtle dressed up as a Blastoise. As you guys can see right there, the same latch. Look at that, the hinges. It's a handmade box. Bust open the latch. Open this up. Here we go. Are you guys ready? I'm definitely not ready. All right, it's hit. Oh my gosh, it's hidden. So you take off the styrofoam patch. And oh my goodness me. Oh, Phyllis, look at this. It's a Squirtle. It's like a baby Squirtle going to school as his dad because he's got like a backpack on and the backpack is the shell of Blastoise. How amazing does this look? Yo, look at that. The shell right there you can see is a backpack. Oh, it's a hoodie as well. This is so cool. Dude, I'm in love. All right, put you back in your box, and then let's have a look at the final one. So I'm guessing it's the three different starters. All right, bubble wrap coming off. <gasps> what the flip? No way. Is it? Oh, wow. It's like, it's Bulbasaur dressed up as a Venusaur, but then there's like an apple in front of him getting teased because one of the vines is holding it. That's so well thought out. All right, pop open the lock. I'm going to get you out. These are surprisingly like super light as well. I can see how fragile they are. You have knocked it out the park and I am so excited. None of these got damaged in shipping either because I know um, that would have been a big concern because these are so fragile. <gasps> oh, no way. It's Kid Bulbasaur dressed up as Venusaur and he's got that apple in front of him with vines that like shake because they're coming out the flower on the back. Look at the Pokeball shoes. Look at everything about this. How amazing are all three of those? We need some slow motion, like nice cinematic shots of all three of these starters because they look beautiful. Dude, you've knocked these out the park. Yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Um, hopefully you're just as into like random Pokemon figures and uh, like custom made Pokemon cards just as much as me. I get such a kick out of it. I just love all things Pokemon. And when you see custom stuff that's not even made by a Pokemon to that level of awesome epicness, it's ridiculous. It makes my day all the time. If you enjoyed today's video, demolish the like button. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section below as well. I'm keen to know what your favorite product was out the box. Of course, I'm linking Gordon. He's below CCG. Go check him out. Um, I think he sells these figures and he sells the gold cards as well. It's crazy. Anyway, have another fantastic day, you guys. I upload every single day Pokemon related videos. Make sure you subscribe if you're brand new. Like the video, but most of all, you're gonna keep on gaming. Alright, guys, next time, I'll see you then.